Hey there, Aquarius. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B. I'm the one who's going to be doing a year reading or just a quick message for November 2020. So Aquarius, I'm having all of the signs here working with selenite. This is a great crystal to work with when it comes to uh, possibly helping it to purify your environment, possibly cleanse that. Also, too, for my fellow spiritual workers out there, uh, readers, anything like that, this will also help to purify uh, yourself if you feel like you're being uh, spiritually attacked or anything like that. Very low maintenance crystal, very easy to work with. All right, so... Uh, thank you so much uh, for all your comments that you left for the October 2020, uh, you know, messages there. I'm going to take those into consideration along with everybody else when I do uh, this quick reading here. Again, for our Aquarians, when it comes to November 2020 here. All right. So let's see. I do understand that you are all in different areas of your life. You know, this could have to do with love, friends, family, health, uh, kids, you know, uh, pets, anything like that, finances, career, where you are uh, right now and pretty much going for November 2020. So this reading can go vice versa. This is not gender specific. Uh, perhaps if you are not an Aquarius, uh, this reading could very well resonate with you, you know, if you do not have it in the astrological breakdown of your charts. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to be working with a few cards here. So you are uh, an air sign and ruling planets are Uranus and Saturn, I believe. So let's just see here when it comes to relationships specifically. I understand some of you are single. Some of you are in that. Should I stay? Should I go? You know, possible uh, twin flame chaser runner, runner chaser. You know, uh, maybe you're not a twin flame and you're just like, is this person really that into me? I'm not sure. Uh, maybe some of you are already coupled up. All right, and I would also like to uh, thank Spiritual Guidance Academy here for allowing me to uh, come on here for a little bit just to kind of give you some messages here. Feel free to check out my channel also too. Uh, definitely like and subscribe to this channel here. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so in that way you do not miss a thing. And uh, feel free to check out my channel as well, like and subscribe to that and all that jazz as well. All right, so enough about that. So Aquarius, you are an air sign once again. So let's see what this has to do with November 2020. Okay, so we have the night here. It says to be brave and to be honest. All right, so uh, when this is coming to, this could have, again, have to do with yourself or whatever situation that led you to this reading, all right? This is also being brave and honest with yourself, possibly uh, making changes in your life, you know, uh, clearing away the clutter, you know, metaphorically speaking, if you will, when it comes to, uh, this is screaming is something to do with love, Okay, so clearing away the clutter very quickly. That could be people, places, habits, things that no longer you really need in your life. And, uh, you know, Aquarius, it's just like this. It's just like, all right, so people get really upset, don't they? You know, uh, not saying that you necessarily have to call people out. Aquarians, you, uh, you can do that. You can also do that in a very tactful way. Again, you're an air sign. You know, I love my air signs out there. When it comes to working with other air signs, they consider it. The consensus say, you know, uh, especially when it comes to love. But again, everyone's different. So they say air signs work best with air signs, typically speaking, very generally. All right, again, everyone's different. So you could be working with Aquarius, 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 Gemini, you know, uh, also to maybe, who am I forgetting? Libra, something to do with a Libra. All right, uh, this is being brave and honest. I feel like that a lot of you out there, this again could have to do with career work, whatever. You're having to voice your opinion or possibly maybe even stepping back, 
reevaluating things, being brave, taking that extra step here. And it's just like, all right, I want to be brave when it comes to this new relationship, which is awesome. However, it's scary. You don't have to be a reader of any kind to know that we've all been hurt in the past, right? So those are just pure facts. So this could be being brave with yourself and taking the steps that you need to take within yourself in order to help guide you on to your next uh, mission, if you will. All right. Uh, this is the night here. You know, uh, also being brave and honest, not only with yourself, but with others. And how hard is that to do? You know, uh, because nobody really likes, nobody actually, nobody likes rejection whatsoever. And from what I've learned in this life, you know, the worst somebody can do is say no. And if they do, it's like, okay, move it right along to whatever's next, you know, in any area of your life. And we are in interesting times right now, and it can be very scary and it can be very frightening. You know, uh, can I trust myself? Can I trust this person? Can I trust this career path? You know, can I trust this uh, relationship that I'm in? You know, uh, and this is the thing, too, about my air signs, uh, for all the air signs out there, really, not just you, my dear Aquarians. It's just like, all right, you draw in so many people uh, and it's just like, all right, who's here for me not to drain my bank account? How many Aquarians, you're just like, all right, the, the only time this person calls is, you know, if I post a picture on social media of what I just cooked, they're knocking on my door. Where's my dinner? <laughs> And you're like, uh, excuse me, but, you know, Aquarians are very generous when it comes to that. And it's just like, all right, you know, I'll share what I have. However, being mindful of not overextending yourself and giving too much to the wrong people, because that could get you into a bit of trouble. All right. Um, Aquarians really have no problem with being honest. <laughs> they have no problem. I mean, definitely big. Sh I love all you like you're the first one. Uh, I was joking around in uh, one group or whatever, and I was going down all the signs very quickly being like, yep, you know, a tourist showing up to a party is just like, all right, where's the food? <laughs> Big shout out to my fellow Torians out there. You know, uh, an Aquarius will show up to the party like, all right, uh, I don't like this music. Let's put on my playlist. <laughs> OK, uh, however, you can dance, you know, very, very talented. Uh, and again, that is with a lot of the air signs. They draw people to them, however. And you're not afraid to be like, excuse you. Who do you think you are? Who do you think I am? <laughs> please, honey, please. Uh, also, too, if you notice in the imagery of this card, you've got the knight here with the sword with two hands on it. Just like, boom. Here we go, solid foundation, and nobody is going to destroy that. All right, now some of the comments that I saw uh, last time, someone had mentioned, you know, big shout out to you, uh, big shout out to uh, Susie G there, had made a comment, and again, you're all in different areas, you know, um, and I've been through difficult times as well when it comes to, you know, uh, maybe Aquarians tend to have their stuff together. However, people do go through hard times. All right. Uh, it's whether or not you are willing to do what it takes and be brave and saying no to certain people, no to certain things, no to certain habits, saying yes to you. Yes, I'm willing to take on this challenge. Yes, I am willing to do whatever it takes, whether the place has resources or not. There is always a way out of any bad situation, homelessness, abuse, you know, uh, when it comes to working with stuff on your, on yourself, you know, uh, this is being brave and being honest and just like, all right, whatever I did in the past is not going to work, you know, so let's try something new. Let's try a new path. So that can be very intimidating. And, you know, again, ask your angels, ask your spirit guides, ask source, whatever it is that you believe in to please help uh, you along your path. All right. This is, uh, but again, Aquarians have no problem being honest. Sometimes I can get them into trouble too, because you may hear people be like, oh my gosh, you're such a bleep. How dare you say that to me? And it's just like, look, again, Aquarius uh, also stands for royalty, also stands for, you know, they're just, I, I love them because they just do not put up with anything. But yeah, they would be the first one to go into like a party or any scene or whatever and just be like, no, we're listening to my music. And, you know, this is so 
again, if you look at the imagery here, you know, all this seriousness and everything like that, you know, however, you do have this rosebud in the background here, okay? So who is falling in love or who is in love with you? Aquarians tend to run into this a lot as well. And as far as November 2020 goes, and again, you're all in different areas of your life, especially when it comes to love. You know, you've got the rose there that's blooming. All right. When you've got all the structure here, however, you do have this beautiful garden, uh, the one rose that seems to seep through the cracks, you know, of the cement. You got the cup right there. OK, and it's just like that fear right there, like I love this person. I want to give them my all. However, they've hurt me. Don't know what that was. But uh, anyways, also, too, you'll notice that the knight here is with, you know, his armor and this and that. However, it, he's uh, dressed with a cloak here. All right. Uh, also, too, it's just like, OK, um, kind of weeding out the garden yet again here. All right. Let's look, look at blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry. Let's look a little bit further into um, what signs to possibly be on the lookout for, especially when it comes to love. All right. And let's see what's going on for my Aquarians when it comes to November 2020. You know, you may have met someone, too, that you've met your match with and you're just like, you know, I really can't stand that person. But you're lost without them. All right, uh, this could be like a friendship or something like that. I'm not sure, you know, possibly dealing with somebody being too bossy to you. Um, again, I'm going to take a further look into it, possibly what signs to be on the lookout for. OK, so Earth signs. All right. Some of you want to possibly be on the lookout uh, for a Taurus, Capricorn, maybe even a Virgo. And this is the night. So we're pulling up all these nights here. Knights in shining armors, all right? This says loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down to get things done. Honor your commitments, a guardian angel. All right, so make sure to, um, again, you're not being uh, simple-minded about it. However, do not keep those walls up as far as blocking out the right people and letting the wrong ones in. All right, not saying that you're necessarily doing that for all of you out there. However, uh, somebody here wants a commitment. This could be you, this could be the other person. All right, however, this person is very loyal. They're very dedicated to you. They love you, obviously. <laughs> honorable and kind, Aquarius, you may just be like, hmm, honorable and kind. No one's really been that kind to me, Carolyn. Well, they're on their way if you have not met this person yet. You know, they may come across uh, more in the shadows, too. Something about a Scorpio just came up for some of you as well. They don't necessarily want to make themselves really that obvious to you. Perhaps they're trying to figure you out and you're trying to figure them out. Uh, also, too, uh, you know, even though that is major earth sign energy, you know, Pisces, water sign, uh, possibly Scorpio, maybe even Cancer as well. Uh, and it's just like, okay, do I go charging in or do I go in slowly here? Possibly some of you are in that situation like, hello, you know, when are we going to finally commit? When are you going to be my man? When are you going to be my woman? When are you going to put a ring on it? <laughs> like it's taking forever. What's the deal? You've dated all these, what, you know, uh, little little so-and-sos out there. I'm the real deal. What's the problem here? How many Aquarians, you know, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and for those that, that are already, again, in committed relationships and let's say everything's perfectly happy. Again, this could have to do with career, getting things buckled down, you know, maybe a lot of projects or having to rethink everything. Obviously, in these times, you know, possibly on a career path, it's just like, OK, fourth quarter, baby. <laughs> Time to get things done here. All right, so let's pull you one uh, last and final message. Again, very generalized. Thank you all so much for, you know, allowing me to uh, introduce myself here and to say hello. We have the Queen of Wands, all right? So you've got your knights here. You've got the queen here. You know, this is a huge representation as far as my readings go. Uh, fire energy. You know, you could be looking at Aries, possibly Sagittarius, uh, maybe even a Leo energy. 
you know, somebody that's just not going to take no for an answer, or possibly this could be a fire that's reigniting uh, within you as well. Something to do with the Capricorn too, some Capricorn energy, all right? Also too, you could be working with somebody uh, with lighter hair, longer hair, that wave. Um, you know, it could be a, a brunette, that, a lighter brunette, all right, or blonde or strawberry blonde, all right? Uh, that could go for uh, men or women. And it's just like, you've got somebody here. Why that song? It's just like, I'm your phoenix. I'm your fire, your desire. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> so somebody here is very determined. Uh, you either, you know, spark a fire within them or this passion that's coming in. I'm really liking this energy. I'm excited to see what else happens for all of you when it comes to uh, November 2020. But somebody here is just lighting up your fire or possibly pushing your buttons again. I don't know if it's just that like back in school or whatever, or that person that uh, bullied you as far as younger. It's almost like that type of thing, like they're doing it because they've got a crush on you or, you know, uh, possibly somebody at work or family. They're pushing you to your limits just to see if you are going to surpass whatever trouble that this may be. Possibly you may be uh, saying this to yourself like, all right, I need to light a fire under up my own behind uh, to get things going here and in motion, because if we don't, then we're just going to stay stuck. So thank you very much and until next time.